guys. Normally I don't video on a Sunday or I, I don't post anything. So you won't ever, you won't see this on a Sunday. And I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. I am home this morning and not at church. I just wanted to, to kind of put a compilation of things. I had a smaller video of my seeds that I organized yesterday and I'm gonna put that here in just a few minutes. But I wanted to show you what I did this Sunday morning, kind of give you a little glimpse into my Sunday mornings. Typically, I would get up and I would make a breakfast and then I would prepare whatever we're gonna have for lunch. And today, it's in the slow cooker and it is all in there, it's super yummy. Potatoes, carrots, onions, and two boneless turkey, along with some spices, salt and pepper, and that sort of thing. And I usually do that because I don't wanna come home after church and cook. You know, I'll get ready and then we'll go to church, we'll come back and there's nothing I wanna do. So there's that. But today, and the reason why I'm videoing, is because of this guy right here. See that guy right there? Look at that monkey man. He is watching Bluey, our absolute favorite show in the world, but he is not feeling good. How come you're not feeling good? What's wrong with you? <coughs> oh. <laughs> he is barking like a seal <coughs> today. I'm sorry, sweetheart. But first when I woke up, I couldn't talk. I was like, eh, eh. That's so true. But now I can actually talk loud. <laughs> so true. He is feeling so much better to write at the moment, but he still sounds like he is honing his inner spirit seal. <laughs> the spirit animal is a seal. He is just not doing so well. So we are home, the rest of the family is at church. I'm actually gonna sit and edit videos because I dishes are running, he's happy, he feels good. He doesn't have a fever, by the way. And just in case you're wondering about his sickness, it will last maybe a day or so more. He might have some residual chest congestion, but for him, he gets this about once a year. He's like really good about it. It's just a cold and for some reason, it goes to croup almost right away with him. He's had it since he was two weeks old. As far as uh, this happening at least once a year, we took him to the ER when he was two weeks old because he was barking like that. As a teeny tiny newborn, that's just incredibly disturbing and you don't know what to do and you feel like, oh my gosh. They don't usually, I think we've taken him to the hospital two times with it because he was very little when it happened. And they just, they might give him a nebulizer, but they just send him home and say he'll be better. He, I mean, other than a croupy cough, this morning he was pretty distressed because he felt like he couldn't breathe. Yeah. So in case you are worried or wondering, he will be fine. We just really shouldn't take him to church and to have him bark on other people. I mean, you know, trying to be considerate. Well, I decided that I was gonna organize my seeds. I ended up categorizing them and putting them in these fancy little boxes. So here's the video for that. So I was product testing and I got these in the mail. They're really food storage containers, but all the food that we eat, like flour, sugar, anything like that for baking, which is what I would normally put in these, we would use much bigger quantities because of the size of our family. And there's not very many things that we would use these smaller containers for. So I'm gonna use them for something else. So my plan is to take this big mess of seeds and put them into here. They come with a locking lid which should keep out moisture. The only thing they aren't is dark and they should be dark to let out the light or keep out the light. But I think I can just keep these in a dark place, dark cool place while they're not being used. And I think that will be well enough. The cool thing is they come with these little chalk stickers and a chalk pen and I will be able to label them and there are 12 of them so I think I'll just categorize the seeds into these little containers and I think it will be much better for storage and I can free up this big bin for something else. My poor little tripod is just on its last leg. I 
I also have the open ones in these plastic baggies in case one spills. I think they'll be a whole lot better in these because they'll be crammed in here in such a way where it fits just a regular seed packet and it won't need to, it won't have the ability to fall over. So if I have several of them in here, they will stand straight up and not have a tendency to fall over. And I can take them out of these Ziploc bags and I think they will stay up a lot better in the grand scheme of things. I'm really kind of excited. I guess the next thing is I have to organize it because after I was done planting a lot of these, I just kind of threw them back in here. That was fun, way too much fun. Thanks for coming along with me. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you um, like organizing things as much as I do. I think it looks beautiful, they're all organized. Now I know exactly where to find things. Uh, in the meantime, both Adrian and I, on this quiet Sunday morning, we wish you blessings, and we'll see you next time. Can you wave everybody and say goodbye? <laughs>